Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the W Vibes and in this video lecture I am going to explain what is the singular value decomposition with an example. First of all we will see that if we are having a matrix A of order M cross N then we can decompose it into the three matrices U, Sigma and V where U is a matrix of order M cross M, V is a matrix of order N cross N while the order of Sigma is equal to the order of the matrix A which is M cross N. Further you can see that the sigma is composed of the diagonal matrix D whose order will be equal to R cross R where R is the rank of a matrix A. Alright and then we have to introduce a row of zeros or a columns and a columns of zeros such that number of rows of zeros will be equal to m minus r similarly number of columns of zeros zeros will be equal to n minus r all right this is the one point that you should always remember that so let's say if the order of the matrix a is equal to 3 cross 2 then According to that, the dimension of u will be equal to 3 cross 3, dimension of v will be equal to 2 cross 2 and then the dimension of sigma will be equal to 3 cross 2 which means there will be 3 rows and only 2 columns present in it. And the dimension if rank of this matrix is equal to 1, uh, sorry 2, let's assume that, then the dimension of D will be 2 cross 2 and we will introduce just one row of zeros and there will be no column of zeros. Why? Because 2 minus 2 because n is equal to 2 so 2 minus 2 will be 0 so there will be no column of the 0 entries in, the, in that case. Alright and the diagonal matrix D will have the non-zero values in the main diagonal that are actually the singular values of this particular matrix A transpose into A that we will see later on. Alright, so if as if we assume the if we assume that here are two eigenvalues of A transpose into A which are marked as A lambda 1 and lambda 2, then sigma 1 will be equal to the square root of lambda 1. Similarly sigma 2 will be equal to sorry sigma 2 will be equal to square root of the second eigenvalue and in this way we can write d of order 2 by 2 like sigma 1 sigma 2 in the main diagonal while rest of the entries will be equal to 0 and from that if I want to write this sigma matrix that will be equal to sigma 1 0 0 sigma 1 and then we need to just introduce one row of zeros in it so in this way obviously we will be constructing the sigma matrix all right so this is uh, the thing uh, main thing that you should remember while performing the singular value decomposition and other important thing is that the matrix v consists of orthogonal Or in other words, or the normal eigenvectors of A transpose into A. All right. Similarly, the matrix U will form the orthogonal basis of A transpose into A. And while sigma matrix will only be consisting of the singular values of the matrix A transpose into A. So for understanding the uh, concept in better way, let's take an example. I am uh, going to do for a single matrix, simple matrix of order 2 by 2 because I have already uh, done another example in my playlist where I have taken another example of the rectangular matrix but right now I am going to consider a square matrix. So let's say the square matrix A is having the entries 1, 4, 2, 8. The first step is to find A transpose into A. 
all right so this is the first step that you need to do and for that we need to find the a transpose so a transpose will be equal to 1 4 2 8 and i think you all of you know how to find the transpose of a by switching the rows into columns and columns into row the next step is to evaluate a transpose into a which means the product of these two matrices 1 4 2 8 into 1 2 4 8 so let's just multiply these two matrices and you can see we will get 1 into 1 1 plus 2 into 2 4 then 4 into 1 4 plus 8 into 2 16 similarly 1 into 1 into 4 is 4 plus 8 2s are 16 then 4 into 4 16 plus 64 all right so in this way you can see that we have found the product of a transpose and a you will get 5 20 20 and then you will have 80 over here this is the first step the second step is to find the eigen values of this a transpose into a and in order to find the eigen values what we need to do we have to find let's call this matrix as b or the product of a transpose into a is mentioned or marked as b so i will do what i will solve this equation b minus lambda into i is equal to zero this is the equation for finding the eigenvalues of a transpose into a and it gives us the characteristic polynomial while the straight bars are representing the determinant so 5 minus lambda 20 20 80 minus lambda whole determinant should be equal to 0 we will substitute it like that okay so now we will find the determinant by cross multiplying these entries you will get 5 minus lambda into 80 minus lambda minus 400 should be equal to 0 so 80 into 5 is actually 400 minus 5 lambda minus 80 lambda plus lambda square minus 400 is equal to 0 these two terms will be cancelled out and here you will have lambda square minus 85 lambda is equal to 0 you can take lambda common from here and you will be left with this expression let's assume that when the product of the two terms are 0 then we say that either lambda 1 let's call it lambda 1 is equal to 0 or lambda 2 minus 85 is equal to 0 so this implies lambda 2 is equal to 85 after finding the eigenvalues the next step is to find the eigenvectors so let's assume that v1 and v2 are the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda 1 and lambda 2 sorry uh, v1 will correspond to lambda 1 and v2 will correspond to lambda 2 fine while v1 will have the components v1 and v2 with the smaller subscripts and v2 vector will again have the components v1 and v2 let's assume that we can find the corresponding eigenvectors let's say when lambda 1 is equal to 0 by solving the equation b minus lambda into i into v1 is equal to 0 okay because this is our matrix b minus lambda i right now let's substitute the value lambda is equal to 0 in this expression but in this case we will have a matrix now not the determinant so 5 minus 0 will give us 5 then 20 then 20 then you will have 80 over here here you will have the vector v1 v2 component and this is equal to 0 it's just like solving the system of the linear equations and i will just form the augmented matrix from here and i will apply the Gauss elimination formula for finding the values of v1 and v2 so this is the augmented matrix generated over here this is my r1 this is r2 i will perform the operation on r2 giving me r2 minus 4 times of r1 so i will have 5 
20 0 over here and then this row becomes 0 and 0 now you will perform the back substitution and from the back substitution you will get 5 v1 minus plus 20 v2 is equal to 0 and then just simplify it you will get minus 20 times of v2 and v1 is equal to minus 4 times of v2 if i choose v2 to be equal to minus 1 then v1 is equal to 4 so the first eigenvector having is having the components 4 and minus 1 all right now let's do or solve the same expression for finding the components of the second eigen vector we know that the lambda 2 was equal to 85 all right so lambda 2 is equal to 85 let's substitute the value 85 in this expression so 5 minus 85 will give me minus 80 then you will have 20 and finally you will have 20 and 80 minus 85 is minus 5 then again you will have the vector v whose components were v1 and v2 again and you will have 0 0 vector on the right hand side again generate the augmented matrix from here and apply the Gauss elimination okay so what kind of the operation I can perform R2 the operation will be performed on R2 R2 plus 1 over 4 times of R1 how because uh, the entry that we want to make it equal to 0 is 20 so 20 divided by minus 80 gives me 1 over 4 and as the minus sign is present over here so I need to add it that's why after solving this I'll get the entries are equal to the last row will become 0 and you will just have such form now again we will perform the back substitution so minus 80 times of v1 plus 20 times of v2 gives me 0 and 80 v1 is equal to 20 times of v2 let's just divide it by 20 you will get 4 times of v1 is equal to v2 all right so v1 will be equal to 1 over 4 times of v2 if i choose v2 is equal to 4 then v1 will be equal to 1 so the second eigenvector v2 will be equal to 1 and 4 this is important the first eigenvector is v1 the second eigenvector is v2 now it's a time to ortho normalize them in order to make uh, ortho normalize them first we need to check either they are orthogonal to each other or not so first we will make sure they are orthogonal if i find the dot product of v1 and v2 you can clearly see that v1 is 4 minus 1 while v2 is 1 and 4 so if we take the dot products of 4 into 1 4 into 1 then plus minus 1 into 4 which results in 0 since v1 dot v2 is equal to 0 they are orthogonal to each other now we need to make them ortho normal for that obviously we will divide the vector v1 by its magnitude and similarly we will divide v2 by its magnitude the magnitude of v1 is equal to what it's actually equal to square root of 4 square plus minus 1 whole square which generates square root of 17 similarly v2 is having the same magnitude and you can even check it 1 whole square plus 4 whole square again under root 17 so uh, for or the normalization vector the new v1 which i am denoting by v1 will be equal to 1 over under root 17 and then the vector which is 4 minus 1 similarly v2 will be equal to 1 and 4 and 1 over under root 17 outside which means each entry will be multiplied by 1 over square root of 17 from here we will obviously generate our 
the mat our matrix v whose dimension should be equal to 2 cross 2 because the order of a was also equal to 2 cross 2 and here were here are two columns present in it so that's why we have generated the matrix v which is 4 over square root of 17 then minus 1 over square root of 17 1 over square root of 17 and 4 over square root of 17 the next step is to generate the sigma since the order of a is 2 cross 2 so the sigma will also have of order 2 cross 2 in this case and it consists of the diagonal matrix d and how we can find the diagonal matrix d the diagonal matrix d contains the square root of the eigenvalues in the main diagonal so d will be actually equal to square root of lambda 1 square root of lambda 2 all right so let's just do it now square root of lambda 1 was equal to under root since lambda 1 is 0 so this will be 0 here you will have 0 then 0 and here you will have square root 85 this is the second eigenvalue the first eigenvalue is 0 and it's better to always write in the descending order so we write sigma basically like that first under root 85 0 0 and then 0 this is the sigma matrix of order 2 cross 2 and there is no need to add any row of zeros and any columns of zero fine so we have generated v we have generated sigma the last step is to generate the u matrix the matrix u actually has the dimension 2 cross 2 in this case and it will consist of two vectors u1 and u2 such that they should form the orthogonal basis for v for this particular matrix a transpose into a all right so uh, the matrix vector u1 is found by dividing u1 is equal to 1 over sigma 1 a times of v1 similarly u2 can be found by 1 over sigma 2 a into v2 okay now looking at this example we know that sigma 1 which is actually the square root of lambda 1 and lambda 1 is equal to 0 so we will not perform this calculation uh, or we will not find u1 by using this relation why because it will make 1 divided by uh, 0 or 0 divided by something gives us infinity so we will not go for this approach but let's find first u2 or let me just uh, for the simple uh, uh, for simplicity uh, uh, let to make the problem simple i will call it u1 corresponding to sigma 2 and u or u2 let let it be the way it is so u2 is equal to 1 over sigma 2 a times of v 2 and what is a 1 uh, sigma 2 is actually equal to square root of 85 fine while a was equal to 1 to 4 8 1 2 4 8 and what is v2 v2 was the normalized eigenvector which is equal to 1 over square root of 17 into 1 4 because here i will write v2 okay let's just multiply them since under root square root under root 17 can be combined with the under root 85 so i will write it over here and over here we will just multiply these two matrices and the vector so 1 over 85 into 17 1 over 85 into 17 give me 
value gives the value value one over seventeen into under root five. While when you will multiply them, you will get one plus sixteen and then two plus sixteen. Fine. So which gives us one over seventeen under root five. And here you will have seventeen over and eighteen. So this gives me seventeen two plus eight fours are thirty two basically. So this is actually thirty two. It's not eighteen. It's thirty two. Calculation mistake. Eight fours are thirty two. All right. So you will have. One over under root five, and then thirty four divided by seventeen gives me two over under root five. So this is the first vector. Let me call it u one. So u one is equal to one over under root five. And u two is equal to two over under root five. Okay. Now, since the second eigen value or the first eigen value doesn't matter uh, the number, its value is actually equal to zero. And whenever such case arises, how can we find the u two? This is the question. As we know that u matrix consists of the orthogonal basis so let's assume that the second vector u2 is having the components u1 bar and u2 bar and they both should be orthogonal means their dot product should be equal to 0 so 1 square root of 5 and 2 square root of 5 if i take its dot product with u1 bar u2 bar it should result In equal to zero, which gives u one bar over under root five plus two times of u two divided by five should be equal to zero. When you simplify it, you will get u one bar plus two times of u two bar is equal to zero. And from here, you can see that u one bar is equal to negative of two times of u two bar. If I choose u two bar is equal to minus one. then u1 will be equal to then u1 bar will be equal to minus 2 times of minus 1 is equal to 2 so in this way the second orthogonal vector u2 will have the components equal to 2 and minus 1 so the final representation of u matrix is actually equal to one over under root five and two over under root five. Similarly, what we will do, we need uh, we can auto normalize them as well, and you can see that the magnitude will be equal to square root of five. So the the answer or the u two can be written as Two over under root five and minus one over under root five. So this is the final representation of the matrix A. Thank you for watching.